Many Vermonters have their bird feeders up for the winter, but how often do you clean them? Ike Ben David has what you need to know in tonight's Wildlife Watch. Winter is a great time to put up your bird feeder, according to Vermont Fish and Wildlife. Well, winter is, you know, a particularly tough time for birds um, trying to find wild forage. Um, generally, they can do okay, but, you know, if we have hard winters and, and things, they really um, sometimes benefit from that supplemental feed. Mostly people do it because it makes people happy rather than because the birds really need it. Um, but it's really a great way to, to get people engaged with the natural world. Tony McCrula is a fish and wildlife specialist who wants to keep birds healthy throughout the winter. Her team is monitoring cases of bird flu that are statewide. It is a concern. We have detected avian influenza statewide. Um, we're not doing a very rigorous testing regime because it's been detected statewide. And to just send off and test every dead bird that somebody finds would just be too expensive. So um, all we know is that it is present statewide. And so that does make it a concern for wild birds. And while there hasn't been a huge impact for birds in Vermont, there is worry about the disease. And um, just like human flu, um, there's different strains. And the strain going around now is particularly deadly. Um, so we're trying to um, keep our bird feeding stations clean and sanitized so that they don't become transmission sites for avian influenza. Cleaning your bird feeders should be a regular habit for people that feed birds. Um, we recommend once a month normally. With the avian influenza going around, you know, you can maybe up it to two weeks. You can't really clean your feeders too much, but you can definitely do it too little. So at least once a month. McCoola says the first thing to do is empty out the feeders. So particularly the tray part where the seed accum or it sits and is dispensed by the feeder, um, and it tends to accumulate empty holes, and those can really um, absorb dampness and, and become a, a mold and fungus problem. I'm using the rubber gloves because I'm doing a bleach solution. She says she uses a 1% bleach solution. So I'm just going to submerge my feeders in there. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this. You can also use a spray bottle and just spray fluid into, in and around your feeder. Then she'll use a brush to clean out the feeder. A quick rinse and left to dry. Makula says this is something you should do, not just because of bird flu. Well, feeders can become contaminated with uh, bacteria, and, and um, if you let seed holes sit in there, they get damp, they acquire mold and funguses and things like that. So cleaning your feeders is just good practice overall. You know, you wouldn't want to eat off of dirty dinnerware. The, you know, it's the same thing for birds. A reminder to take those bird feeders down in the spring as the bears will be waking up out of hibernation. In Essex, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.